Now, when you look at your BUN to creatinine ratio, what will it be like in pre-renal? Greater than 20 is to 1. But, you know what the next question is coming, right? Why is it 20 is to 1, right? Now, knowing this fact doesn't make anything. It means absolutely nothing. The question is why. So, let's understand this. This is your afferent arteriole and this is your efferent arteriole. Right? Normally, is BUN and creatinine a substance that's filtered at the glomerular basement membrane? It is a substance that's filtered. Now remember, creatinine is a substance that's freely filtered, never reabsorbed, but small amounts of it is secreted. So creatinine is a substance you're going to freely filter and not get reabsorbed. What about BUN? Does BUN get reabsorbed? Yes, it does. BUN gets reabsorbed in your proximal convoluted tubule you will reabsorb BUN right so think about this if somebody's got a pre-renal AKI you have decreased blood flow to your kidney right if you have decreased blood flow to your kidney right you will have less blood which is flowing slowly right less blood flow means slow flow right if you had a slow flow would that give you more time to reabsorb BUN Yes, if your flow is slow, you will have more time to reabsorb BUN. So your BUN should go up. But what about creatinine? Should it get reabsorbed? It doesn't, right? And therefore, your creatinine, your BUN will be 20 and your creatinine will be 1. Because there's low flow. If you have a decreased blood flow to your kidney, what's your kidney's job? To reabsorb sodium and water. To keep everything within the body. Just like that, it's also going to reabsorb a lot of BUN. That is why your BUN is going to go up in a patient with pre-renal. More so than the flow being slow. It's to do with the fact that you have less blood coming there. Your kidney is like, look, the body is dehydrated. I need to reabsorb sodium. I need to reabsorb water. I need to reabsorb BUN. And therefore, your BUN would go up and you'll have a ratio of 20 to 1.